I am recording this video on January 11th, 2023, which marks 18 years since Resident Evil 4 released. If the game were a person living in the United States, today it would be considered an adult. This is far and away my favorite Resident Evil game, and my favorite game of all time. But this is when the series started to stray away from horror and became more action-oriented. Shut up. I don't care. I've been wanting to celebrate this occasion in video form for a while now, and originally I wanted to make a video talking about how much I love this game in general, but there are already plenty of videos out there like that already on YouTube, and quite frankly, a lot of the people who made videos like that articulated how good this game is way better than I ever could. So I figured instead, why not make a video coming to the defense of quite possibly the most controversial aspect of this game, the escort mission or more specifically, Ashley. For a while now, I've noticed that it's popular sentiment online to shit on the escort mission and say, Ashley is so annoying, why do I have to take care of her? And I used to be one of these people, and I think even in some old live streams I complained about her, saying she's annoying, she gets grabbed, she's sometimes in my line of fire, so sometimes I accidentally shoot her when I don't mean to. And I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of the people who complain about Ashley, myself back then included, are just plain bad at the game. Her AI sticks to you like glue. She runs at the same speed as Leon. She listens to every command you make. The game makes damn sure that she's always right by your side. So if she gets grabbed or if she gets hit by an enemy, that's likely on you for not paying attention to your surroundings. And plus, there are plenty of areas in the game where you can just hide her away and she won't be a problem whatsoever. For example, shortly after you meet her in the church, when you go back into the main section of the village, you can have her wait in the tower while you clear out enemies before you go through the gate leading back to the farm. Or after the cabin fight when the game gives you a choice of which path you want to take, either the path where you have to fight two chainsaw enemies or another El Gigante. I always pick the chainsaw path because I always find it more fun massacring villagers. And in that path, you can right away hide Ashley in a dumpster and not worry about protecting her while you clear out all the villagers and the chainsaw enemies. And here's one more example that I actually just found out recently. I used to always dread that wrecking ball room in the island portion of the game. Because in that room you have Ashley with you and it's such a tight space with enemies swarming all around you. I used to never make it out of that room without Ashley being at low health. But then just recently I discovered you can just have her wait in the corridor right before that room. So you don't even have to worry about protecting her while you're in that room clearing out all the enemies. The game gives you so many opportunities to not even have to worry about Ashley while she's with you. So I'm failing to see why the escort mission is so hated. I understand it's not pleasant hearing, Leon, help! But to that I say... Be more aware of your surroundings. The enemies literally give you a cue when they're right behind you and about to grab Ashley. The villagers say, a key, imbecile. The zealots in the castle laugh and the soldiers on the island say, decoqui, or something along those lines. I apologize, my Spanish isn't the greatest despite being born into a Spanish-speaking family. Oof. But anyways, these cues are there for the game to tell you, hey, you need to get the fuck away from where you're currently standing, or else you're gonna get hit, or Ashley is gonna get grabbed. So if you learn to listen for these cues, you're in a position where you're less likely to hear Ashley's horrible fucking screams. This is the only game I have played, thus far at least, that has done an escort mission right. Unless you count the first Last of Us game, but Ellie is completely different from Ashley, so I don't think that's even an accurate comparison. I never liked Zelda escort missions where you had to carry the character you're escorting on your head because I guess they're too fucking stupid to follow you on their own. Or in Wind Waker's case, where you had to constantly play a song to take control of them to do certain actions. That shit was annoying. I also recently played Mario Superstar Saga, the original GBA version. For all I know, this is a lot better in the 3DS version. I don't know, but that Peach escort mission in that game... Fucking dreadful. In that section of the game, you could only tell Peach which direction to walk in. She never fucking stops walking. If she leaves the screen, she gets kidnapped. All the while, you're doing little puzzles to open gates. That shit was absolutely infuriating and made me think, damn, I really don't give Ashley enough credit. You have her in six out of the 19 chapters in this game, 
And in some of those chapters, you don't even have her for the entire time before she gets kidnapped again. The only long stretch in the game where you have her by your side is when you first meet her in the church all the way up until she gets kidnapped for the first time in the castle. After that, every time you reunite with Ashley, that only lasts for about, I don't know, 25 minutes at most before she gets separated from you again. Despite being the entire reason why Leon goes to this rural Spanish village, you go really long stretches in the game without her. I would be a little bit more sympathetic towards the people who find her annoying if you had her for almost the entirety of the game. Like, let's say you meet her in the church, and then after that, you have her for the rest of the game. She never gets swiped away from you. I would imagine that bosses like Verdugo or Krauser would be an absolute fucking nightmare if she was right there behind you. But the game doesn't give you too much of her, and if you do a good job protecting her, she is completely silent, save for scripted moments like when she's locked up in that cell at the island and she's fucking screaming, Leon, help! <sighs> you may have noticed that so far all of my praises for Ashley have been gameplay based because that's where my praise ends because as a character, yeah, she's bland. Just kind of your typical damsel in distress. As a character, I don't like her, but I don't hate her either. She just doesn't really have much of a personality. I mean, the game gives her her semi-badass moments, like in that chapter where you take control of her. She throws lanterns at enemies and sets them on fire. Or in that other chapter where she, a 20-year-old college girl, somehow knows how to fucking drive and operate a fucking bulldozer. But aside from that, nothing noteworthy at all. I mean, at least the game didn't go the usual route with these types of damsel and distress characters that are of high stature where they're stuck up and constantly rude towards you like say princess rudo from ocarina of time the only part in the game where i straight up don't like her is in a cutscene where she's coughing up blood leon asks her if she is okay and then for no reason whatsoever she blows up at him runs away from him and then perfectly aligns herself to be caught in such an obvious wall trap but she later apologizes to leon for that so i guess it's all cool i don't know i hope her character is a lot better in the remake i mean for a few seconds in one of the trailers for the remake make she's holding a gun so that's something i guess but anyways thank you ashley for being quite possibly the only good escort mission in the history of video games and also thank you for never using my inventory items like first aid sprays or any ammo i may have like a certain someone in Resident Evil 5. Okay, in all seriousness, I think Sheva in Resident Evil 5 gets a little too much hate as well, but she's definitely more annoying than Ashley, at least gameplay-wise. Character-wise, much better character, but gameplay-wise... <laughs> but anyways, happy birthday, Resident Evil 4. I've had fun playing you probably over 30 times by this point, and I'll have fun playing you 30 more times. And it goes without saying that I'm very hyped for the remake, but even with the remake, I am still going to love the original so fucking much. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye